you've talked about burp what are some other tools or top what are your top five tools that you've been using since uh, you started uh, doing back bounties so uh, my top tool is obviously but i think if you know how to use burp you've got like literally the ultimate arsenal it's the swiss army knife of of hacking tools it has everything you need um, other tools I use is whether well, or not counts as a tool, but I have, you know, very specific word lists I like to use, like curated word lists. I think that's super important. I like to work with APIs because there's a lot of bugs in APIs and I am all about that low hanging fruit. Um, so having the large word list allow me to do stuff like API enumeration. Um, so I really like to have, you know, a nice, some nice word lists that I like to work with. Uh, and honestly, the biggest other tool is like, Hacker One in general, like their whole platform of having like disclosed bugs is such a great tool for me because it can, I can look at other people's stuff and steal their ideas. And <laughs> it's, it sounds kind of weird, but actually, you know, in academia, I've never seen further than it when I'm standing on the shoulder of giants, right? So to stand on the shoulder of other hackers and see what they're doing, it's such a great tool for me to take either their ideas and how they're doing things and evolve them in my own way. So that's kind of three tools, but I don't think I need it. You really need much else to get started. I don't think you need to, you know, be learning stuff like Kali at the start. I think you really only need, you know, to learn how to use Burp or OWASP's app if you want to have free to support free and open software. Um, a good way to view what other people are doing to build on their work and, you know, these custom word lists and these words that work, work with the way that you work with. And I'm still very much like a beginner. Like, I'm not super, like, amazing at hacking yet. Fellas, YouTube enabled memberships for my channel, so you can now come into my closed circle and into the private live chats. Click the join button to learn more. I don't think, I don't want to portray the idea that you need, like, a lot of tools, because you don't. You can do, you can really hack. I met one guy at one live event, and um, he he was, like, complete source code review, right? 100%. Um, I mentioned, oh, do you want to work with me on this bug? Um, I'm using Burp. And he's like, I've never used Burp before. And it's like, you could become one of the best hackers in the world without even touching Burp if it doesn't suit the way you work. Of course. I think it's it's probably the actual preference of the person who's actually doing it. So if you, I mean, you've kind of put it really, really good here. Uh, you might not need anything. If you like Burp or OWASP, uh, Zap, uh, you, you, it, that's just a proxy. So you could actually uh, look at how requests are made, but you, could, you would not need actually anything if you just do source code review. So you could yeah, even exactly. do that. You could do that from your phone. So, so yeah. there's practically no requirements. I mean, I see a lot of tutorials um, on Medium and all over the internet with the uh, top 20 tools for bug bounties. But if you want to start, you can just start with nothing. Actually, just look into the reports because this is real stuff that has been actually found in some other programs. You could look through reports and submissions on HackerOne and Bakrat and all the platforms. Um, and then you could just try to uh, look into a program and figure out if you can actually do something similar to what you're reading in the report. So, yeah, that's my like my number one the reason why I make my videos actually with the section on disclosed reports is I think reading disclosed reports is a really great way to learn very very quickly because you just get exposed to how people think really. Um, and how they approach problems and it's I think really useful even if you don't necessarily copy that and try and implement it yourself but just to read it and kind of see how other people solve that problem basically. Fellas check out my Python basics course to learn the fundamentals of Python you need in cybersecurity. There's a discount link in the description.